the grassroots movement against nuclear, the renewable energy, which demanded the clean and safe energy, was really seeing, looking, talking, discussing, <coughs> and internalizing. We would be offering you 10 lakhs rupees per acre, the compensation. So, last 10 years, charge sheet cases has been still going on. A good rehabilitation package, and I know Chief Minister is concerned about us, and if he is really concerned about us, we have been living on the sea, and whole generations, last 100 generation has been living on the sea. So, the best compensation package for this nuclear project would be create another Arabian Sea, and that's the only thing you can give us. After Enron projects, in the whole beautiful Konkon coast, one side is Sanyadri's mountains, that is Western Ghat, and parallel to that is Arabian Sea. And the narrow strip, which is very fertile land, and considered as biodiversity hotspot of, in the world, very famous hotspot. There, um, from 2005, special economic zones were planned, of which we fought against Mukesh Ambani special economic zone in Raigad district. That's altogether a different movement. But along with that, there were a number of energy projects which were coming up, which were in pipeline, and which showed in the government planning as a future planning of the Konkan. And those were 18 power projects. Out of those 18 power projects, almost 90% of the power projects were of the coal. And it constituted almost more than 50,000 megawatt if it had to come up the way it was planned. And in the same belt of this 400 kilometer strip, not only the largest project of the Konkan region, not only the largest project of Maharashtra state, not only the largest project of India, but perhaps the largest proposed nuclear power plant of Jaitapur was also situated in my region. But I would be sharing with you the grassroots movement against nuclear. The grassroots movement which demanded the alternate development model. The grassroots movement where Women voiced out their concern at the grassroots movement, which needs to be addressed when we discuss such issues here. So, I am bringing the best wishes of our women leaders from the Konkan coast, from the fisher folks, from the indigenous community, the mining impacted community, and the proposed nuclear powers project affected community here. So, we started. The land acquisition notification started in 2005 and as all of us you know that the proposed nuclear power plant has been of 9,900 megawatt. Previously it was collaboration with Areva, then Iriyap and then somebody and then somebody and you know it. So when the land acquisition started, people didn't know what the nuclear means and to be honest with you. Uh, I have done my PhD in uh, Kathkari Women and Land Rights because that's the topic which I have been working for a number of years. I didn't know, doctor, about the nuclear too. I didn't know much about it. So, as I'm speaking about the voices from the grassroots and the leadership from the grassroots and especially about the women, I would like to just focus on two, three things. And if you want the details, there is in the presentation, which I'm not going to speak about because it's written there. So what worked and what did not really work at the grassroots? So what really worked was we were taking initiative of understanding what is meant by nuclear. Because it was like a huge patch of land was under acquisition, compulsory land acquisition. And in Raigad district, one side, all the farmers in my district 
where I have been native of that district. We have fought tooth and nail against the biggest corporate of Mukesh Ambani and we had asked government and made government to take the referendum in Raigad district which was a historical referendum where 99% of the farmers said we don't want special economic zone, we want special agriculture zone and that was a victory and that was a victory after independent like no very significant. And during that time in 2005 the land acquisition started in Jaitapur. The first step what the women did was and the fisher folks did was we visited Tarapur nuclear power project which is first of nuclear power project in India. We went and talked with the project affected community there. We went and saw what is happening in the sea. We went and discussed what is the livelihood pattern there. We went ahead and discussed with them how their relationship with this nuclear power project of the our country which is of the first of its kind. And you know, that was the most learning thing for us, eye-opening for us. Because Fisher folks and we did not have exposure of such kind of a conferences where we can come and learn. So we went and we learned and we saw and what we saw was horrible and nobody has really done the studies on Tarapur, how many cancer affected patients are there. We got some information from Tata Institute, uh, Tata Hospital, where most of the patients were registered from some of our activists. And the fisher folks shared with them that how they have not been able to fish in that area, how nobody is buying the fish from that area, and not even that, the how the genes has been uh, impacted in that area, and now the youth had a problem in Tarapur area, and now also they have, nobody is ready to get married with them because infertility is also a big problem. Not only that, what was the greatest learning was when the fisher folk women went and we went and sat with one of the houses there from another district where the Jaitapur project was there. We went and sat there. So one lady said, you know, it's not only with the women that women are like getting aborted like you know, time to time. Infertility rate is very high. We are having the problem of cancer. But look at this lizard. And there was a lizard, Chipkili, on the wall, and she had two tails. And it was visible in the animals also. And there was no studies. There has been no studies, or I have not learned about it. But the women had observed this, and they had found that it is something which is damaging, not only to the human being, but to, to the whole creation. And they say that. And this is how the movement started and the first time the illiterate women of the Fisher folk community understood what is nuclear power project. And now if you speak with Nafisa, if you speak with Fatima, if you speak with Nurja, who has never been to the school, who has never been out of Nate, who has never been outside, out, out of India and who has never been out of Maharashtra in their whole of life, but they know very well what is meant by indigenous reactor, what is meant by EPR, and what has been the model of Areva. They may not speak in the scientific language, but they speak. They are also putting forward the narrative of saying, in Maharashtra, we have 30% of the electricity leakages, losses. And if we collect together, all together, and if you reduce that, the whole energy requirement of the Maharashtra can be responded from that. They know that. And all the more women learned by just watching television. When? When the Fukushima accident took place. And that was the greatest learning for all of us. That when we saw Fukushima and the impact of Fukushima and what happened in the Fukushima, I think they just got a fire. And there were a lot of protests, lot of protests, lot of protests. There was a firing, one of our fisher folk youth, he died in that firing. Many of us had a lot of criminal cases on us. And yesterday when I was traveling from Nagpur to Delhi last night, I had one of my senior colleagues who had been with our uh, anti-nuclear movement, Justice Kulse Patil and Justice Pibi Sawan. And we were discussing what is the status of your case and what is the status of my case. So last 10 years, charge sheet cases has been still going on. So now, what really worked at the grassroots in the movement which demanded the renewable energy, 
which demanded the clean and safe energy was really seeing, looking, talking, discussing <coughs> and internalizing. And this is what worked very well. In the second stage, the farmers who had refused to accept the compensation money in Jaitapur, their land was already taken away. Already taken away. And they had actually achieved no option then to accept the compensation because it was lying in the treasury of the government. So they accepted the compensation. And when they realized the state is very suppressing and state is not allowing their democratic voice to be heard anywhere. So women started putting up their own questions and narrative. I remember uh, it was a Congress government and the chief minister of Maharashtra came to Jaitapur in 2012, eight years back. And we had a huge rally. And he came along with three cabinet ministers and state ministers and with government missionary, all the state missionary over there and with all international media and state and national media there. And he was saying that, you know, previously the government was giving only one and a half lakh rupees per acre the compensation. But now we have discussed with the central government and the state is coming up with a very beautiful package and we will be offering you 10 lakhs rupees per acre, the compensation and the job in the nuclear power project. One job and 10 lakhs rupees per acre. What do you think about it? And we were five, six thousand people over there. The whole ministry people who were sitting there, the cabinet ministry, everybody clapped. But not a single clap came from the audience. Nobody clapped. Nobody clapped. And they didn't know what to do it. They didn't know what to do it. So, there was, they had given honor because it was in the local self-government, this program at the Gram Panchayat where a lady Sarpanch was there. Because of the reservation, she was elected and she was there. And she was like so, sitting so embarrassed there and like a, she didn't know the so many uh, like uh, media coverage and people and ministry and police and everybody. She was so tense, so tense, so tense. And she was sitting there and he looked at her face and she was like numb. Because she was looking at her people and no people were clapping. So the media went and spoke with one of the lady who was a fisher folks who was sitting in front. And they asked same Nurja, a fisher folk woman who has never been to the school. Her occupation is to take the, buy the fish and sell on the head and go village to village. They asked her, uh, Chief Minister Saham ne abhi compensation declared kya hai. What is your opinion about it? What is your opinion with regard to the new compensation package? You know what she said? She said, the media said, what is your uh, opinion about the rehabilitation package? You are one of the project affected and we would like to get your reaction. She said, if the government of India and the Maharashtra state really wants our fisher folks to give a good rehabilitation package, and I know Chief Minister is concerned about us, and if he is really concerned about us, we have been living on the sea, our whole generations, last hundred generation has been living on the sea. So the best compensation package for this nuclear project would be create another Arabian Sea, and that's the only thing you can give us. So this is a kind of a narrative we may draw for of their own, from their own experience, from their own reflection, and from their own learning. And that was a great learning for me too. That was a great learning for me too. I learned a lot. I drew a lot of strength from them. I really learned how they grapple with the day-to-day -day issues. I also learned how they fight the giant, biggest, largest proposed nuclear power plant of the world without getting demoralized because I was getting demoralized time to time because I was not able to enter the district. I had a lot of restrictions. I had restrictions from the district collector. I had 25 criminal cases on me. I was unable to move and I was demoralized. And that's the time CNDP, INSA, these are the organizations which stood up, stood up by us as a grassroots activist. Anilji, Achinji, so many, so many of these INSA people were there with us. And they were supporting us from here and boosting our morale. You know what I mean to say? I got time to time demoralized. But they didn't get demoralized. They're still fighting. Maybe the ways have changed. They're not coming that often on the street as they used to come before. But still they are coming on the street and still they are opposing it in spite of government being so dumb and numb about it. 
So the second thing what I would say that when this compensation package was declared after the rally of the chief minister, chief minister gave the bites to the various channels, especially there was a French channels, there were Japanese channels and you know France and Japan and every uh, US had a stake in this whole thing in building up this nuclear power project because of various coalitions and the deals which is taking place at the international level and I think Achin would be more in a better position to talk about it or rather he has already talked yesterday's session also. So when they asked the Sarpanch lady, a lady Sarpanch, uh, Sarpanch who is a head of the local self government of that area, they came and they asked her, what's your reaction with regard to this compensation package of the nuclear and which is quite attractive. And what do you think about this nuclear power package? And you know what this lady serpent who was from the OBC community, who was elected because she was a, from the reserve category and she had a women reservation so she became a serpent and half of the time her husband was ruling the grand panchayat and he is the one who was speaking behalf of her. But that day the whole channel went to her serpent because she had a nameplate in front of her being ahead of the local self-government. So channel went and talked with her and they said, what do you think about this compensation package and what do you think about such a largest nuclear power project of the world coming up in your area as a project affected community and as a leader of the local self-government and the Gram Panchayat and the project affected community and the farmers and the fisher folks as a representative, what do you think about it? And I still remember her face. She was really perspiring. And she was so nervous. From her body language, I could see that she was very nervous. And she was looking at me from there. And I was sitting in the public there. And then uh, I was, you know, I was really, I was also feeling very nervous, thinking what she's going to speak now. Because whatever she speaks, the whole world will see that. And the whole world will consider that as a position of the project affected community because she is a serpent. And I was really, I tell you, I was so nervous, so nervous, so nervous. So she said, she just, like she took her pallu and she just wiped her face like this and it was so visible. And then he said, uh, you know uh, what I want to say, uh, ye kehena hai. and then chief minister was sitting there and he was saying, yes, yes, aap boliye, daliye nahi, aap boliye, 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 aap khuliye hum. And the more he was saying her to speak, she was getting more nervous. And she said, you know, uh, Chief Minister has declared a new compensation package for us. And we know that state is concerned about us. We know uh, state wants to make us feel happy. And we also know that they understand, Chief Minister want to understand the problems of the farmers and fisher folks and for that he has come to Jaitapur. I know, so I am very thankful to him and you know, I couldn't breathe there. <laughs> I said, no, she's thanking Chief Minister, she's thanking you because by then he had also declared a good package for the Gram Panchayat, you know. He said, all the contracts, everything will be taken place through the Gram Panchayat because road facilities will be there, this will be there, that. And I was very, very nervous. I said, now I don't know my serpent, what she's speaking there. And I was really nervous. And she said, you know, it's like uh, my position. They said, how do you feel? You know, not the channel. What, how are you feeling now? So this is the way the channel goes on and I know that was a, one of the very famous national channel. Then she said, you know, what I want to say that uh, if I sleep, I'm sleeping on the pillow in the night and everybody is looking at her and under the pillow, I know there is a jahirila sound. I know there is a poisonous six snake under my pillow. Or Mukhya Mantri Ji ko bhi hi pata hai ki wo jahirila snake hai. Or hamare state ko bhi pata hai wo jahirila snake hai. I know the pillow on which I am resting my head throughout the night. I know there is a snake below that pillow and which is poisonous snake. I know it is a poisonous snake. My chief minister knows it is a poisonous snake. My state knows this is a poisonous snake. The government knows this is a poisonous snake. But still today, our chief minister is telling me, you sleep peacefully. Government will take care of you. 